Okay. So we're going to bring you this match in progress now. It looks like it's in progress. No. Just a warm-up. Okay. So this was warm-up. Shatatatun. We're going to have Radu Angel, from, uh, originally from Romania, versus Ralph Deloyne. Now, uh, I just want you to know that, uh, first of all, Ralph Deloyne has been playing the uh, Terry Stoner for, it's got to be like 40 years now. He, he grew up in this room. This is his room. He's currently trying to negotiate with Radu to flip a coin instead of lag. I guess Ralph DeLoyne doesn't like the lag, doesn't want to lag. Maybe he says, you lag too good. <laughs> You lag too good, sir. I can't have you lag. You lag too good. At the jointed cube, buddy, we flipped a coin. Hold on. Yeah, Tanner Rood, uh, scrubbing the timeline. Yes, I, I understand the technical term of scrubbing the timeline, but I try to keep it simple for our, uh, for our viewers who don't understand what scrubbing means. So, yes, Tanner Rood says it means it's scrubbing, scrubbing the time. That was, these are two horrible lags from two great players. In billiards. <laughs> In three fish, we don't lag nearly that fast. Josh Palmer rocks, bro. That's killer. Dude, you just gave me gas money. I really, really appreciate it, bro. Josh, wait a minute. I know you, right? He's probably not listening to me. He's probably scrubbed the timeline. And he's watching the beginning of the match. Yeah. This should actually be a pretty good match because um, Ralph DeLoyne's kind of on a high right now. He beat Tinsley Johnson, who is one of the all-time, like, you know, good players from this area. Um, he was in a Hill Hill match with Tinsley, and uh, he broke and ran to win against, uh, against him. Jeff Purvis is still here. Russ, uh, I did see him about half an hour ago. Good shot. Ralph looks like he's feeling good. I told you, he's kind of on a high, which is good. Makes for good pool. When you're confident in this game, it actually gives you a bit of an edge. Confident, not cocky.
Ralph DeLoyne's a very tall player. You'll probably never see him use a bridge. And he's also a very strong breaker. Breaks real, real hard. He's got a lot of power in his strong, uh, break. For a living, listen to this. You'll get a kick out of this. For a living, Ralph DeLoyne designs roller coasters. that eight ball though he might even try to billiard this eight ball no I don't like it though look at this he's gonna play safe table. Back cut. Oh, man. Very nice shot. And look at the speed. He shot that slow enough to leave himself the only pocket for the four ball. I'm liking Ralph's game today, man. He's he's playing solid. <laughs> it's funny every <laughs> every match someone comes to the table. I'm liking their game. A lot of good matches. A lot of good players. This kind of reminds me of the Swanee tournament. You know, these th th these local players they really take this tournament serious. They want to win. They want to place high. Of course, I'll probably talk to Ralph later, and he'll be like, no, I haven't played in four months.
good action for Ralph. He's getting getting a good break and he's, he's not missing. High shot percentage. Nothing to shrug at, I'll tell you that. I tell you, the way to beat this guy is keep him in his chair because when he gets up, it's like, uh, you know, he, he takes longer to shoot than most players. And so that could slow you down as a player, especially for a guy like uh, Ralph, who, who's a fast paced, he's a rhythm player. This was a thousand dollars added, and uh, because of the because of the field and because of the the uh, successful turnout of this field, Mike Murphy, the owner, he added another five hundred dollars to the prize fund. So we've got uh, we've got some nice payouts for this event. Actually, it's uh, for first place. It's twenty two hundred dollars. Second place, 1400 Third place, 900 Fourth place, seven. Fifth and sixth are $400. I mean, $60 tournament. I couldn't complain about uh, a $400 payout if I came in fifth and sixth. Of course, I'm like one of them ninth through twelfth kind of guys. So let's see. I'd make 125 if I was ninth through twelfth. <laughs> but if I'm really having a tough day, if I end up 17th or 24th, I get my 60, 60 bucks back. Shoo. That ain't bad for like, uh, you know, playing some of the best players, the local air players in the area. And, uh, you know, that's, that's probably like a dozen matches to break even. And maybe even get live streamed. So I can watch my game, see how I played. <laughs> so um, we got a lot of rack issues. And you know what? He's kind of slowing. He's, sl he's slowing him down. He's trying to rattle his opponent. He said, wreck those balls, boy. <laughs> Still racking them. getting drill instructor on him I, I i'm telling you man ralph uh, this is a good move for ralph you know this is a real good move for ralph i mean i'm not i'm not saying it's fair <laughs> by any means but it ain't against the rules and he's he he's making this 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 guy shrinking his chair right now. He just went back to his chair and he's shrinking. He's like, I'm not going to let this guy slow roll me, you know. Uh-uh. Ralph, Ralph gets what he wants. I 
I'm not saying it's fair. But who said life was fair? And who said pool was fair? This is a tough game. This is mental, physical, and psychological. doing what he thinks he needs to do to win, uh, you know. I'm sure both these guys are nice guys, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm friendly with, uh, with Ralph. And uh, he's commentated with us. I don't know Radu. And I'm sure he's a nice guy. But you know, when you play this game, the gloves come off. Johnson, who's fast, lively player, and then get into the box with a, a guy that plays slow. It's just, I mean, I'm not criticizing his style, but Ralph probably is. I know how to play a guy like this, but so does Ralph, I guess. shot here. Draw back. You could you could actually cross bank this ball like one pocket shot. What a shot.
I think somebody should check that back pocket because it might be broken. Wow. Did you see that, see that ball? He's got an open shot for the, yep, he's open for the one ball. I'm going to show you this again, guys. That was pretty strong. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he's going to shoot okay. next. This is the I think there's a there's a lane. No, there's no lane. No lane between the four and between the five and the seven to make the four. That's what's that's what the problem is. I mean, he can make this one, but there's no lane, so he can play a safety. But I don't think he wants to. He wants to run out, and close it out. Current score three zero. He's taking his time. He's making him feel it. He's analyzing. What to do, Radu? What to do? Two rail kick.
Well, you know, it's like a it's a good hit. But uh, there was very there was a lot, wasn't a lot of hope for that kick. Might have been better to play that as a one railer. Harder, but I think it'd have gotten much better result. Swinging a miss. Yeah. Yeah, he played great on Amar. You want to sweat this? You want to sweat this? Yeah. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring Billy in. you've been seeing this match but but Ralph's really kind of like turning the screws on this kid I uh, yeah I kind of seen that um he uh he don't like the slow play <laughs> no <laughs> so he's he's getting all military on him yeah that's what this guy did that to um to Francis earlier Rita Rita yeah we watched it yeah and I mean you know when you're playing nine ball you, you have to go at a little bit faster pace than that I mean I mostly play one pocket but um, I just really needed to get out of the house today that's what I needed to do so yeah, but you know the game you know the game it yeah. just seems like Radu is still learning nine ball you know well no it's not that what what players like that do because the guy obviously he plays pretty damn good but what what players like that do when you're playing a rhythm player like Francis is a rhythm player yeah and what you do and it's like the oldest shark move in the book what you do is you slow your game down and especially to a rhythm player and it gets them completely out of the rhythm pretty soon they can't make a, a ball straight in you know six seven inches out of the pocket they'll shoot it in the rail and all kinds of things that's why ralph is not going to allow that to happen i'm sitting with billy silvera who has made his first appearance in three years <laughs> <laughs> i haven't seen him for a minute yeah, not here anyway. Not here. Yeah, we, uh, Angel's a really, really nice guy. And he, uh, he talked to me and said, I, I can assure you it won't be like that again. And, um, nice guy I decided cool. to come. And I got a lot of things going on at home right now. So it, today was a, a good day to get out of the house. It's not even worth it to make this ball, is it? No. What I mean, what you do here is cross it over and maybe try to make the nine and put the cue ball back down where it's at. I like that shot. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's not even going anywhere near that shot. Yeah, Ralph. It looks like he's got got him. Um, he's got him rattled. Bad. It whatever Ralph was doing worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just not going to allow allow him to get in his head. He. Instead, he he got in whatever this guy's name said is. He's a um, Russian. Radu. Radu. Yeah. Yeah. With a little inside English, he could break this out, actually. The, th the four. Yeah, but... Like two rail inside English. Inside follow. I don't know. That, I mean... Reverse. Yeah, that, I guess it's a good shot, but... What happens if he hits the... See? He missed the one. He didn't leave much, though. No. He got lucky there. I think he hit that left-handed. But, but see, he? the problem with that shot was to go, what What would happen if he hit the five full, right, and, and or a little bit on the edge, and the cue ball rolled behind it, and then he's and then he's, he hooked himself. That's why I did, you know, going from that way, a little, little bit. You know what would have been a good shot is he, he would have thinned off the one and kind of hard. Shot the cue ball into the rail and came up and, and tried to run into the nine. And then really rattle this guy. Yeah, earlier today at my.
my match, I shot the four ball because I did look at the number on the ball. Oh, dude, don't you really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm colorblind really bad. Are you really? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I have to look at the numbers on the balls when they're, you know, look oh. for the colors. You played pretty well today, I watched. You know, the, the weird thing is I didn't feel like I played very well. Um, You're playing all right. Playing good. Just a little bit of pattern issues, but... Oh my god! But you're banking good, and you're you know you're doing all the, you're, you're making the balls. Yeah, that, and you're that going you're going in confident too, which is an important part of the game, you know. That eight ball I fired on that kid that I played, yeah. that bank and came around three rails. That that kind of he he never did really recover from that. And then after that, you cross banked a five in the side to win, to to make that. Yeah. That, you know you, you you're playing good. I get I get lucky a lot. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know the truth, I get lucky a lot. I hardly ever get to play anymore. I even have a pool table at my house, and about the only time I ever play is when somebody you really? comes over. I yeah. thought you sold it to Chris or something. No, no, I have like five tables, but I no, oh. we've got a gold crown like this. Um, oh, right on. And uh, sh my dad's had it ever since I was a kid. I think it's a 63 gold crown. Wow. Meanwhile, yeah, I didn't. Oh, look at this. Meanwhile, you, you know, he was trying Jail to bank time. that. You no, know, he was banking that ball to make it, and look at how screwed he would have been. You know, this is funny, though, because the result of this safety battle. This was all Ralph's choice to go into battle on the safety. He had an open shot to the one to to, to actually, you know, try to break it all out and get it going. No, I and he chose to play safety. You weren't watching at that point, were you? Yeah, yeah, earlier. But but the thing is that um, here's the deal: that he was banking that ball to make it, and if he would have made it, he'd be in a lot of trouble right now. Well, this shot, yeah, yeah. But you know. He, I, what he's doing is he's playing all these safeties. I think he was. In. You think he was banking it? Yeah. I think he was playing safe. I don't think so. Look at no, because here's the thing. Look at how close he came to making it. Yeah. I mean, he came real close to almost making it. Dude, I just saw Manny Perez wow. play this ridiculous <laughs> shot. <laughs> that bank, <laughs> Jack up. He wants to be a world champ. <laughs> oh, he's. What did he just turn 19 today or yesterday or something? Yeah. I mean, he's look at how young he is and what he got second in the Swanee. I know against Eric Horlifson. Yeah, uh, Big Red. Big Yo. Red plays good. Yo. Yeah, Eric. Tur tournaments like these are a great workout for him. Absolutely. But meanwhile, today, the, you've seen. Um, oh, cool, you, man. Yeah. Did you see uh, Jr. play uh, Jason Williams and beat him? I did not watch that match, but I did see. It's not nice to see Jason walk away a loser. He's not a happy camper when that happens. Well, especially it's not against John. Well, Jr. He played. Uh, Jason said he played real. He personally played really bad. Well, Jason played bad. But plus Jr. Actually, I was being told by. Henderson, he's like, dude, this guy over here with the veteran hat on. Shot some shots. He's like, this guy's a good safety player, man. He's playing some really good, like, safeties. I just couldn't believe he beat Jason, though. So and, I, and, and the worst part was that he, he had opportunities to, to put Jason away earlier, like, put you know, beat him 6-2. to two or I mean, it was... I mean, it's not, it's not funny. Yeah. It's just the way that it went down. He had the straight. rolls then, too. Oh, man. Yeah, he had them. But, you know, he missed a straight in. All he had to do was shoot this eight ball, stop the ball, and he had a straight in nine ball a couple inches from the hole, and he shanks the eight ball to go up, like, five to two or something. But it happens. Dude, yeah. Ralph is handling this match, man. Yeah, Ralph, Ralph can play good. I was joking with the audience. I was... I was saying, like, I'll go up and talk to him, and he'll tell me, like, oh, I haven't played in four months. <laughs> yeah. He, he likes to say that. He probably he, hasn't, too. Well, he's a working man. 
I know. You know, he's got a good job, and so, like yes. he said, he goes, man, there's no money in pole, not like what I make. Yeah, like, why why, why would he want to play unless it's, like, league? You know. Yeah, league players, meanwhile, look at that stroke. That was a good shot. He's having a flashback. You know, that's, that's, that, that's the power of this tournament, too, you know. Well, it's a short race, you know. Well, no, that's, that's the power of this tournament. It's, it's, it's been going on for so many years, and there are memories here. There's, there's, you know, I mean, Ralph comes in this room. This is his comfort zone. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, my dad was really good friends with Terry. Yeah, he ain't going to feel one, the slightest bit uncomfortable in a match in this room. Yeah, no, and especially, how about, how about today when he played Tinsley? I know, he broke and ran to win that match. That was good. He got up, but he was a little bit unsure. That's good to get up off the ball. I, I don't even do that. Yeah, a I lot of people he, I, don't do I that. I think he saw Vilmos move a little bit to the corner, you know, so. Could have, but dude, that's good that he got up and did. You know, a lot of people, when they see something on the corner, they'll just fire real quick because they think that their aim's on and they miss balls like that. Yeah. That was good. Good that he got up. Meanwhile, is it four to zero? He, meanwhile, yes. Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, yes, it is four <laughs> to zero. <laughs> yeah, Red Ralph, he uh, looks like he's playing pretty good. I I play the winner of that match. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. Probably on this table, too. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if one of the other ones opens up or whatever. Ralph's, Ralph's checking. Oh, he's got Angel racking, though. <laughs> Good, yeah. Ralph just like, you know, maintaining complete psychological warfare <laughs> on this guy. That's what this is, is psychological warfare. Absolutely. That's why I kind of like the way that, that I've been playing because I'll shoot a lot of two-way shots and, and uh, a lot of safeties. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. Meanwhile, look at this. <laughs> Lose him straight in combination. Yeah. The guy's got to shoot it. He's so far behind. No, no, you're going to run this out. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. This guy's so rattled that, I mean, at this point. He might point, just do silly stuff. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, almost you would have to do this for a confidence booster. Because, you know what I mean? To get your, and then now you're breaking. Yeah. Yeah, look at, yeah, of course you got to do that. Did they call Ralph Red Ralph? Yeah, Red Ralph. How did How did he get that name? He's, he had Chemical bright, engineer? No, he had bright red hair. I'm reading the, oh, okay, Red Ralph. Yeah. Right, Josh, right here. Josh Palmer just said, you know. Hey, like, what's up, Josh? How's trucking going? I've met him before, haven't mm -hmm. I? Yeah. He he was a really, really, really great player, and then he lifted all these weights and got huge. And <laughs> oh. He ma just made a donation to us, man. He's Yeah, he's a good guy, for sure. Really good guy. Really cool, man. I like hanging out with that guy. One time I talked to him, into, he hasn't played um, any pool in a long time, and I've been talking to him. My friend on Facebook, I've been talking to him, talking to him, because I haven't seen him in a long time, and I talked to him into coming down and playing, um, uh, I, I don't remember if it was a one-pocket tournament or what, but I talked to him into coming uh, to Hard Times, and he came over there. It's all good. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good guy, for sure. I meet so many people, dude. It's I never I never signed up for that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, well, it's hard, to, especially if, you, if you're not hanging out with them all the time and just yeah, meeting people. Yeah, no, that's there. really hard. And the hardest part is when I only see them once a year. You know? Yeah, it's a poor percentage um, combo. Combo, yeah, but the, the thing is, when you're that far behind, you got to do something to get your confidence back up. Also, when you're that, like, kind of rattled, too, you know. Yeah. You make the wrong decision. I mean, I, 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 I mean it was a pretty easy out, too, but you still. Would've, you would have gone for the combo at that stage? Mm, depend on how I felt. If I felt that it was a really easy one, maybe, but. Um, I didn't Yeah, I guess the balls. I thought, when I looked from here, because. Looked I kind thought, of straight. I thought the six ball was on the rail. That's oh, why. Oh, all right. But now I see. Because see the shadow? Like, if you look from right here, it looks like it's right on the rail. I didn't realize that. I guess I could have looked at the screen.
Man, we got, it's like 11 o'clock, we got sweat, 10 o'clock, we got sweaters all over the place. It's crazy. The amount of players that came in to play this is great. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see, that. yeah, I, now looking on the screen, yeah, it was pretty far off. The, I thought it was right on the rail. It's okay, it's okay, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're way beyond all this. Now. Wow. <laughs> it's just deceiving from her, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree with that. Percentages, you got to go with them. But what happens when the guy's running two or three balls and then missing or missing shape? That's what I usually do. That's why I play a little safe <laughs> or two way shots. Yeah, he got out here. Good for him. Yeah, but you're also a one pocket player, too. That's what I'd prefer. You have to a play. natural inclination to want to play safe if, you, if you're in a low percentage situation. You know what? It's so bizarre playing one pocket for so long and then when you try to play nine ball and and just some of the shots that you know when when he played nine ball the time he'd shoot and now he don't shoot him anymore it yeah really really bizarre I, I this guy does take a long time I can't do it I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't, I couldn't play him no I would never gamble with him hooked <laughs> man if this guy took any more time he'd be a freaking statue but he's deliberate that's for sure yeah I like that one belly hooked I'm gonna remember that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, slow is a understatement. This guy's really slow. Now watch, Ralph leaves him a slug rack. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He might. I'm but being so mean right now. Like, I mean, I'm not being mean. I'm just no, saying. No, I mean it's just it's, it's ironic. You know, pool players are like that. You know, it's. Um, I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying anything no, about bad about it, Ralph. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, the thing is, it's it's. It's just that the guy is, you know, when you get a player like that, uh, and and no disrespect to him, but Jeff Jeff Heath, you ever play him? And boy, he, you want to talk about a guy when he's drinking that takes his time? Oh holy no, smokes! I played him when he was half sober. So, well, did he, he did he played slow? Uh, not that slow, and I think I actually beat him too. <laughs> so I don't think he was drunk enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, one time it's funny that back in the day when the tournaments were still at the Sands, the Reno Open, mm -hmm. um, he played uh, Jose Perica, and first thing in the morning he has me go across the street, go get an 18-pack, and he drinks it all, and I don't <coughs> even get one out of it. And I'm like, dude, you got to play a match. He goes, yeah, here, go get another. I'll pay for this 18-pack. Jeff? Yeah, he says, he says, walk across the street and go get another one. So I said, okay. He's walking around with him in a bag. He goes to his match. He plays... Um, he plays uh, Jose Perica and he drills and beats him like nine to two. <laughs> Guys, you dropped a card on the floor. Yeah, I'm trying to pick it up, but my back's killing me. But so yeah. it must have taken four hours then. Oh my no, actually <laughs> I think it went per by pretty fast, but he uh, he just plays slow. Like play one pocket, man. There. Hold on. Oh no, 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 it's cool. I was going to say, you use something to knock it over here and I can reach it. Oh, shit. No, I mean to do that. That sucker is bright. I'm colorblind, actually, with reds and purples and blues. Um, some, some shades. Golds. Um, browns. I'm pretty much screwed. I inherited that from my grandfather. Yeah, I've been up since uh, like five, not getting very much sleep. My mom is um, 
is dying right now. Oh, dude, really? Yeah, she's like minute to minute right now. So I take care of her during the day. My dad doesn't really... He's having a hard time with it, so I, I'd have to feed her during the day, which all she does is drink and sure, and I can get her to eat a couple cookies. And um, so today they're like, just just go and, and have a good day. Um, but, you know, I can't but help but have my mom on my mind, you know, because she had really bad labor breathing today. Sorry to hear, man. Thanks. You leaving? Hey. He's thinking he hit hit the three and going in. See see if it see if it moves this ball that he's shooting away from. No, it's a good hit. Clean. Clean. Ralph's pulling out all the stops, isn't he? <laughs> Dude, that's psychological warfare, man. The poor guy. Rocky was like, I come to America for my dreams. You're terrible. I don't know the guy at all. He's probably he's probably got an American accent, right? No, <laughs> he's, probably, he's probably like, "Hey, bro, I'm Radu." No, no, no. He's got a he's got a pretty heavy accent. I heard him out front. Oh, uh, right on. So he doesn't like surf in Santa Cruz or something. Oh no, <laughs> he's surfing all right, but it's like in the Ukraine or something. <laughs> Dude. You know, in that water that's that's from Chernobyl. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Let's stop right now, please. I might have to get somebody else on the stream. Thank you um, for the play the combo for the best wishes for my mom. But um, it's just uh, hey just man, then. just be strong, bro. Yeah, no, just I be am strong. I am. I, uh, I, I, you know, it's not like it, this has been going on for a while. But hospice just put her on. I know you because I think you mentioned something about this like a couple months ago. Yeah, but she hasn't really been eating uh, in the past six months. So um, the thing is, hospice just has been in for the past like six or seven months. But the thing is that they just put her on um, morphine uh, the other day. Okay. So, <sighs> wow. but thank you for the wishes from everybody. No doubt, man. That's you only get one, brother. That's true. That's one nice thing about the pool community that that no matter what, um, everybody that that is a player and that they all eventually become like family when you hang out with them. And that's yeah. that's one good thing about being a pool player. Yeah, we. I mean, we all woof at each other and get mad and hate on each other. But then uh, you know, like when the when the when the turd hits the fan people you, you'll be surprised who comes to bat for you oh absolutely you know, people, I agree. people you think that you know don't really like you that much will come to they come they come to you sure you know. because they're real life things you know not anything yeah. to do with pull but you know people that you might have met or this and that um wow meanwhile uh sean can't make a ball keep scratching after the way he just played against sean the money yeah. playing john henderson yeah john henderson's having a good tournament He's a he's a tough he's as tough as nails, man. That guy plays good in everything. He's no slouch, man. What's happening here? This guy is has it, been are we buffering? No, this guy's stream buffering. No, this guy's been looking at the shot for ten minutes. He just, I don't know if he I don't Ralph locked him up pretty good. The two's up here in the corner, hidden behind that wall, and he's trying to Oh. I think it looks like he's going to try to kick it in or something. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think there's a kick in here. Yeah. you got to just... No, you just mass a kick behind it, right? Hard. Or slow, actually. Just like ball speed. 
Yeah, so I don't, you I don't, just I don't like this because this guy can scratch going this way. See? That, that's not good. Even if he hit the ball, he scratches. No, it's not good. It's a two-rail kick is what it is. You this come you come up um, underneath what? it. You spin it, and you come yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking like a three about. Like a three-cushion. Dude, I'm telling you, that three cushion has helped my, my game so really? much, bro. I'm telling you. Hey, um, what, what's that Russian game called? You pyramids. Know, okay, this guy needs to go back and play some pyramids. Oh, dude, that's <laughs> mean. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Damn, Sajal's, I, I need, Sajal's I, doing good. I need to put a disclaimer on this thing. The opinions expressed on this live stream are not necessarily those <laughs> shared by... Yeah. by <laughs> Operators of POV pool. Oh, we're just we're just we're just having fun, just joking around. Yeah. Uh, Sajal is. Uh, I came with him today. He's having a good tournament too. He okay. He yeah, you introduced me him to him earlier today. Hey, Josh. Um. Oh, this is a uh, this is old oh, chat room. Oh. We need to go to new chat room. Sorry. It's all old. Because well, you know, he asked me to replay that shot. Remember? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, so but uh, so we rode down here together. You and Sajal. Yeah, Dave, I remember you. Uh, you're talking about the house in Fremont and Alta Court, right? Billy's talking to Dave Gross in the chat room. I should hide the chat from <laughs> you because you're. <laughs> hey, look at look at Jeff Gregory. Because <laughs> this guy's putting this guy's putting the stall. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're gonna shark your own friend. I know. I can't help it. <laughs> He's all right here. Yeah. He's just beating him in his own game. Yeah, he's just doing it, making it extra drama for this guy. And it's like it's like my friend, tank. my friend Nineball Bob in in Southern California. They call him Nineball Bob because. That's all he ever goes for. He goes for the nine. Oh, cool. You're done? Yeah. You're out? So. Okay. You just want the kit. Put the extent. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna be calling with all of the necessary details. I'll call when I get to town. When That's I get funny, to Tiger, Dave. Okay? Yeah, we live in Gardnerville, Nevada now. Hold on. Good scene. Yeah, I'll be there. Is that for sure? Is that happening or what? Yeah, the 25th to the 26th, we changed the time because of Mother's Day. Oh, Mother's Day. We don't have anybody there. So we changed it. That should be okay. Yeah, we're going to have to change it. 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 Yeah, we're going to have to change that's my man over there, California Billiards, bro. Yeah, Shaky Dave. Yup. Dude, you're, you're too narcissistic, man. You need to get off this chat. It's a, it's an, I'm telling you, it's an addiction. And one person will, will say one bad thing, and it'll just mess your whole day up. <laughs> don't look at it. I don't think I know who that is. Don't look. <laughs> I might, though. I just don't. I'd have to see a face. Five to one. That's okay. People can say whatever they want to me now. I don't. Oh, I don't. Man, get, I don't get upset you're anymore. You're solid with me, bro. You're all right, man. I ain't tripping. Call me anything you want. Just don't call me late to dinner. Yeah. I'm gonna get this fat for no reason. Let's see here. Yeah, man. This guy's gonna harden like concrete. <laughs> Rick and Mortis. I'm telling you, that's crazy. I haven't seen nothing like that. I'm sure he's a nice guy, man. But you know. Yeah, he seemed like it when he was outside talking. But, man, he... Uh, he needs to learn the game. He needs to learn... I, I mean, like, honestly, I feel like he's still learning it. No. Man, come on. The guy can't take that long because he's learning it. You know you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has played some really bad patterns. I saw him in his last match. He wasn't playing anything well, right. I play bad patterns too, but it don't take me that long <laughs> to shoot. Okay. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, he's. I think. I think he just he he plays other games, and that's what he's used to. <laughs> yeah, Ben Gay for the joints is good. 
funny story about that. I got gout a couple months ago. Really, really, really bad. I got a thing called a... Um, it's gout? A gout. You dude, had gout? Oh, dude, it's... I had a runaway gout attack, which attacks several different joints. Is. It attacks several different joints at one time. Ooh. And so at first, we didn't really know what it was, and Sarah was rubbing Ben Gay, because it, it got right here in... Uh, what would this bone in this in here be? Your pelvic bone. Dude, and she rubbed Ben Gaither and got it on my... Oh, shit. Oh, my God, dude. Let me tell you what. I was screaming, running around, and I, I was... <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's save this interview for, uh, for a more... Uh, I'm just saying, don't get Ben Gay in places like that, because it's not very fun. <laughs> Dan Billings, where he went. Runaway gout. Never heard of it. Yeah, runaway gout attack. It's the most painful thing I've ever felt in my life, ever. Even uh, even that car accident almost killed me. It was way worse than that. Really? And there, and painkillers or nothing work for it. Mm. You, you just have to. And I and then this time we took the um, all natural approach with like um, holistic. Oh, with the Ben Gay. <laughs> well, at first I thought it was a pulled muscle because it started like in my. Oh, room. I oh. see. What's coming. That's at first. Okay. So, uh, he's having trouble with this shot. Well, he's belly hooked again. <laughs> Dude, he's just, la he's right handed. Man. I'm never going to forget that saying. Wow. Did that's a good shot. Wow, that's a really good shot. Yes, yeah, you shot a shot like that against the. On the nine uh, ball. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, but, get mine, but mine was luck. This guy. Is I rewarded? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. No, I don't think it is. I'm I'm shaky, Dave. Hooked right now. <laughs> Can't see the freaking table. Wow. Yeah, that was a that was he cut that ball good. He did. He did. Right, he would have almost been better off, you know, if he would have clipped the six ball. I'm not sure if he can see that, or he might be able to, but probably not enough to cut it, I don't think. But the way he's shooting... He's, he's, got, he's got it. He's got this ball. I forget. Is Dave still amongst us? I mean, where's... I mean, Ralph, is he still among us? Yeah, he's sitting over there. Okay, I can't see, because like I said, I'm... Yeah. I'm, I'm Dave hooked. Dave is... Um, so Ralph's still sitting there. Yeah, no, I never did that. Um, <laughs> if if I would have known what I know now, I would have. That's for sure. Um, this guy's up over a ball. This is a kind of a difficult shot, but with as much time as he takes, I'm pretty sure he can get a solid bridge, <laughs> and uh, he might spear this sucker in. Yeah, he's got a good bridge over the ball. That was nice. Meanwhile, Roth looks like he's getting ready to throw a fit. Yeah, I don't I don't think he can he can handle this no. for too much longer. No, but he's on the hill, so I mean Could you imagine the torture of him having to uh could you lose this match? Oh dude, if could he lost imagine? this match he would go through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Yeah, and one of the biggest reasons why they called him Red Ralph because I guess he also <laughs> got mad. Oh, he dude! <laughs> I heard stories that he like Never went completely mind. off there. Let's, let's not go there. <laughs> no, he's a, he's good now, but uh, if somebody pissed him off, that was it. He's a good guy, though. I I talked to him quite a bit, like over Facebook. He sends me all these these crazy videos. Yeah, we rap all the time too. Oh my god, he sends me stuff too. <laughs> he probably sends me the same ones he sends <laughs> I you. So. I laugh so you just think, wow, where does somebody come up with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go look through his old stuff now. <laughs> it's like watching an old movie. <laughs> One time he sent me something, I forget what it was, and I was I was drinking water, and it I started laughing so hard it came it came out my nostrils, <laughs> spit at the door.
Yeah, Ralph looks like he just, like wants to scream. <laughs> but he's he's keeping he's his a little composure. Hated. Yeah, he's keeping his composure pretty good. You know what you know what Ralph should do on his on his next shot? Yeah. <laughs> he sent me that. <laughs> He, he should, uh, next time when it's his shot, he should go to the bathroom and then go walk around the pool hall, maybe walk around the building about three or four times and then come back and shoot. Yeah. He's... <laughs> Radu, Radu is like... It, it looks he, like he's a really good player. He just plays slow. I think he, the guy plays good. I watched him shoot earlier. I think he would burn up if he if if I if I showed this picture to the live stream. I think it, I think it's all right. I, I don't think he'd get upset. But um, yeah, I think this guy plays really good. He just um, man, if he could just get a little bit of um. I'm not. A, I mean, pace. I'm not. I'm not sold because I saw his last match too, and I'm not sold. Like I, I would get into the box with this guy. Like you know, if if I could like, Who did he if I could afford the table time. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, seriously. Like I would, I, I don't feel like he's playing so great. Well, whoever he played on seventeen, I forgot him a good player, and he beat him. Yeah, because everybody's getting rattled by his pace. Oh, for, yeah, he. That's uh, really all. Francis. It is. I'm not seeing it, like um, uh, anything really impressive from him. No, there's nothing that he does that's really impressive. He's just slow and steady. That's the thing. It, you know, he uh, he doesn't get in a hurry. I wish Rodney Dangerfield was still alive. He'd come up with the best, like, slow pool playing jokes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, Ralph, Ralph shot that good. I almost takes him five it. minutes to play a one-minute shot clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, I personally, um, I I have a hard time playing slow players myself. Yeah. Always have. Really. <laughs> Take them an hour and a half to watch sixty minutes. <laughs> You know, there's there's a there used to be a guy they called him Wild Bill, and he used to play in the USPPA. Mm -hmm. And this guy had this is this is no lie, and he could ask anybody that remembers him. He had a stick for every shot. Get the heck no, out! No, I here. swear to God. And this guy, that's crazy. He would he would break the balls right, and he would jump straight up in the air, and his feet would go up over his head and almost hit the ceiling. Really? Oh my God! The, and and you want to talk about a guy that took forever? He he had notes like he was like he was golfing, and if anybody in here ever remembers the old Sands USPPA tournaments, and and they'll remember this Wild Bill guy. He wore dark glasses, hat. He had long hair. I'm waiting to see if anybody. It'll the the, the delay is a little long. Yeah, I'm, wait, I'm waiting to see if anybody in here remembers me because he had a stick for every shot. He he would break that's out like crazy. 20 cues and they were laid out. Maybe that's how Parika ended up like because he would do he would like change shafts in the middle of a game a lot. Jose Parika. No, this, no, I'm not, I, and I'm not exaggerating. This guy had at least 16 cues out. Uh, he had, but Parika would do that too. He had no. like six shafts, eight shafts with him. But these were fully together cues. <laughs> One's like, you know, six or seven feet tall, the other, okay, and then okay. one, one down to like two feet. It was the craziest thing you've ever seen. I think Ralph's going to close this out and give me a little coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> I might just have to take a break on this next match. I don't know who it is, and I don't really care at this point. I need a rest. Yeah, well, you've probably been a... Oh, Ralphie boy, Ralphie boy, playing the trick shots. That's the only way it went, right? <laughs> He's probably like, you don't know that shot? <laughs> no. I know. <laughs> See, look at, I saw that guy play at the Sands. That's where it was at. Isn't that funny? Gene Starry. Is, no, this guy's name was Wild Bill that, that did this. Oh, they might have called him Gene Starry. No, Gene Starry, I think, is who, who used to put the tournament on. Oh. I I I miss those hallways that that smelled like piss that's been there forever. <laughs> oh <laughs> to your room <laughs> or the elevator was horrible. Last but shot. Still. Last shot. Here we go. Close out. 
it's over, and it only took an hour and seven minutes. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. Speaking of golf, we got a couple golf claps in the room. So, all right, guys, I'm taking a break. Asta, everybody, thanks Dude, for having me on. Billy Silver, you rock, bro. Good luck with moms. And good luck, you know, just be strong, bro. Just be strong. I'm trying. Just doing the best I can, my man. So, uh, I'm going to take a break. Uh, I'm going to let the stream go on the next match. I don't know who's next. Uh, I will put uh, names here. But uh, I'm not going to be keeping score. I'm just going to ask you guys to enjoy the next match. I mean, what do you want? You know, I've been doing this ten and a half hours already. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Keep loving pool. Don't go away. We're going to have probably a couple more matches today. Ralph DeLoyne defeats Radu Angel.